Greg, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. So, okay, it's season four of Level Playing Field. This has been something that you've been involved with since the beginning. What are you excited for fans to experience with this new season? Well, I'm, I'm excited because I think this season we took it to, to new levels it's never been before. And when I first came in, I was an active athlete. So when I came in, I was hosting, but that was it. I would show up the day we were shooting, I, I would read my notes, and I would do my best because I, I really believe in what we're doing here and the athletes that we feature and the organizations that we feature, I believe in it. So I would do my best. But now it, I, I get to really sink my teeth into it. I, I get to really help choose some of the stories we do. We got to travel all over Canada. AMI has been such a great partner for us. We went to Comox Valley in BC. We were out to Montreal. We'll get to the East Coast next season. But we got to really travel and get all the athletes that we really, really wanted to get this season. And I just think it makes for better TV because we're not just Ontario based. We're not just Toronto based. We are now a nationwide program. And I think that's really exciting because no story is being left untold. Okay, now dive a bit deeper into that. You talked about getting across the country, all the different locations. What about the sports? What are the sports that you got to really dive into and explore this season that maybe you haven't in previous seasons? You know, it's a great question because I come from a team sport background. So when you look at some of the athletes we feature and the, and the community organizations that we feature, it's stuff that I don't know a lot about. So some of these interactions you see with me on camera are so genuine. You know, Marissa Papa Constantino is going to be here. She, uh, we did a big feature on her in sprinting. I know nothing about sprinting. We had a great chat on camera. I hope that comes out and comes through and shines through. Uh, Brianna Hennessy's here. She's somebody that acquired a disability later in life, something that I know nothing about. She, she is just this kick butt woman who, who is now like a leader in, in her field and I can't wait to tell her story. Um, all these things. So for me, just being from a team sport background to coming in and interviewing these people and it's really had a profound impact on my life and the way that I just view my day-to-day -day life. So it's been really, really fun. And I've learned so much about the other sports, whether it's sprinting, uh, Tyler Turner, uh, we went out to Comox Valley and interviewed him. He just came second on the Amazing Race Canada. You know, he's an amazing guy. And almost more than the sports that these amazing athletes and people compete in, it's who they are as people away from their field of play. And that's what we dive into as well. Are they family people? Are they involved in their community? And it's a resounding yes, mostly. It's a lot of people that are so connected and have roots all over Canada. And that's what I think shines through. And so again, you look at Tyler. He is a snowboard champion for the Canadian Paralympic team. But what you don't know is that he's this crazy skydiver that just wants me to jump out of a plane with him five minutes after I land on the ground in BC. And so tune in and find out if I jumped out of a plane with this man. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't give the spoilers yet. You gotta give the fans something to tune into. Uh, so you kind of talked about it off the top, but how has the show evolved or grown over the now four seasons? Well, again, a great question. I, I think for us, streamlining our process and I'm just a face and, and I talk to people and I ask crazy questions but the people behind me Ted and Matt they're, they're so passionate about parasport they're so passionate about helping people grow their brands and become successful it makes my job easy I get notes and I get questions and I get sheets with all these details from an amazing team of people behind me that are so into this project this is a passion project it's a labor of love and now we get to share it with the world and we can't wait now obviously uh, uh ted and matt ted cooper the show's uh, producer and matt mcgurk the show's director of photography you're referencing there in in terms of what happens next how do you want to see this show grow evolve and where do you want to go next with it well i just want to keep going um there's always, as a lot of people would know with sports, there's always the next person coming. There's always the next superstar. There's always somebody that's pushing the boundaries, doing something that's never been done. And we want to find those people. And so as we know with sports, it's perpetual motion. It's constantly thriving and evolving. And that's why we need to keep going. And that's why we need season after season after season is because these stories, write them, they don't write themselves, but there's always people coming. And, and I, I would hate to stop doing this show and then all of a sudden 
we miss out on some great charitable donation, some great charitable act, some kind of groundbreaking Paralympic performance. Like these are amazing things that we need to capture in Canada and we don't do a good job of it right now. And so we're here kind of raising our hand saying, we'll capture it, we'll do it. And, and so that's why it has to keep going. The people that this show touches and impacts is quite profound. The people who love this show, they don't just love it, like, like they swear by it. And, and the messages I get on Instagram and social media, it, it inspires me to keep going every day because it, it really does change people's lives and it gives hope and inspiration for so many people. Now, I know you're very busy. One last question before you go. If you had to choose one story, one profile, one athlete this season, who was the one that really stood out to you? I'll, I'll give you one that I was, I was so pumped to do because I, I grew up, um, I, I used to love jujitsu and kickboxing when I was a kid. So I loved it. I used to go, like, every week I would go. I have a blue belt in jujitsu. I, I was like, I loved it. And so we got to feature somebody who really has no connection to the para world this year, uh, a fighter out of Alberta named Jake Peacock does not play any para sports, really doesn't know anything about the Paralympic movement, but he's in this brutal combat world fighting other able-bodied athletes and he's at a disadvantage. And so that was one for me that, that was really interesting because I'm used to interviewing and being around people that just know so much about the Paralympics and the IPC and, and the CPC and everything that I know about. And he really pushed me outside of my comfort zone of, no, this guy just is trying to make it in a brutal, brutal world. So that was a real fun one. That's one that I would recommend checking out as well. Greg, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Take care. Level Playing Field, now streaming on AMI+.